Rand Paul speaks. Here's the big headline tonight on the New York Times website. This was just posted within the last hour. Senator Rand Paul is accused of plagiarizing his lines from Wikipedia. On Monday night, we reported on this show that a speech that Senator Paul gave at Liberty University in Virginia appeared to have been partly plagiarized. Senator Paul spoke at length in that speech about a movie called Gattaca, and his descriptions of the movie were lifted basically verbatim from the Wikipedia entry about that movie. The senator did not attribute his remarks to Wikipedia. He just lifted whole passages from the website and said them out loud as if they were his own words. Rand Paul gave the Gattaca Wikipedia entry speech on Monday, and we reported that exclusively here on Monday night. Then on Tuesday, yesterday, BuzzFeed reported that Senator Paul did the same thing with another movie, a movie called Stand and Deliver. He spoke about that movie in a speech earlier this year, and again, he just plagiarized the Wikipedia entry about the movie. BuzzFeed found that bit of plagiarism in a speech that Rand Paul gave in June of this year. Last night, we reported that Senator Paul also plagiarized that same stand and deliver Wikipedia entry in a speech that he gave a few months earlier in March. The Wikipedia entry for Stand and Deliver describes the main plot of the film this way, quote, in the area of East Los Angeles, California in 1982, in an environment that values a quick fix over education and learning, Jaime Escalante is a new teacher at Garfield High School. That's Wikipedia. Here's Rand Paul. In the area of East L.A. in 1982, in an environment that values a quick fix on education over learning, Escalante was a new math teacher at Garfield High School. Two clear cases of plagiarism from a sitting U.S. senator in two pretty high-profile speeches. Rand Paul is not just any U.S. senator, though. He is a senator who wants to be president. Plagiarism scandals have dogged presidential candidates before, notably Joe Biden in 1988, and it took him a decade or more to recover. This sort of thing has happened before in recent American history, and it has real consequences for candidates for years and years when they do stuff like this. For two days now, Senator Paul and his office responded to this evidence of plagiarism by basically not responding at all. The senator would not talk to us, he would not talk to his hometown paper, he would not talk to various other news outlets that tried to get a comment from him on this, some sort of explanation. He just didn't want to talk about it. But tonight, Jorge Ramos has arrived. Jorge Ramos comes to the rescue. Senator Paul sat down for an interview today with Jorge Ramos of Fusion TV. And Mr. Ramos, in that interview, he asked Senator Paul about these instances of plagiarism. He put the charges right to him. Now, I'm going to show you the entire exchange here in just a second, but before I, have, before I do, I have to say that it seems to me that what's going on in this exchange is that Rand Paul maybe does not understand what plagiarism is. And that is an unexpected thing, but judge for yourself. Here is Senator Paul's response in its entirety. Senator, as a journalist, I, I have to ask you this question. MSNBC accused you of plagiarism on Monday. They, ac <laughs> they accused you of stealing four lines from Wikipedia from, for your speech at Liberty University. So is this true? Yeah. I mean, uh, what they're saying that, that you <laughs> borrow lines from a Wikipedia entry about the movie Gattaca. Uh, so it, what happened? Yeah, we did. And I, I let did? people know that the, well, we, we, we borrowed the plot lines from Gattaca. It's a movie, and I gave credit to the people who wrote the movie. I also borrowed lines from Ray Bradbury and gave him credit as well. I think they're arguing about whether or not things are properly footnoted, and uh, there are technicalities to this, but uh, nothing I said was not given attribution to where it came from. I talked about a movie, Gattaca. It is a copyrighted movie by the screenwriters, and I gave every bit of credit to where that plot line came from. The rest but of it's making a mountain out of a molehill from people, I think, basically who are political enemies and have an axe to grind. Well, because it, it seems that it's not the first time. Um, the website BuzzFeed, they say that you borrowed several lines from, the, from Wikipedia again for a speech in June to a Latin organization. Again, in in think, this case, uh, once again, the movie Stand and Deliver. It, and once again, it's a disagreement on how you footnote things. And I think people footnote things different in an academic paper than they do in a public speech. But if we were to present any of these speeches for publication that have footnotes in, but a lot of times the speech is, uh, you, people don't take the time to footnote things. But I think it was very clear that the plot line was not something I created. I didn't claim yeah. that I created the movie Gattaca. See, that's what's absurd about this. 
the plot line from Gattaca belongs to one person, the guy, the screenwriter, and I gave him credit for that. So it's kind of ridiculous to sort of say, you know, you didn't do proper footnotes. Do, do, and do it's you, making a mountain out of a molehill. Do, do you write your own speech as senator? Or is someone else helping you with that? A lot of people participate in writing the speeches, so they're not really attributable to one person. But the thing is, is that if you look at any of my speeches, there's never been any indication that I'm trying to take credit for someone else's work. So really, this is uh, really about uh, information and attacks coming from haters. You know, the person who's leading this attack, she's been uh, spreading hate on me for about three years now, and I don't intend for it to go away, but also don't see her as an objective uh, news source. Senator, you can call me whatever names you want to. Trust me, I have been called worse. Uh, but this is not a personal thing for me at all. I feel no emotion about this. And I do not hate you, nor have I ever tried to spread hate on you. And I'm sorry you feel that way. Uh, but also, you didn't borrow plot lines from these movies. You read the Wikipedia page out loud. The point is that you seem to have a frequent habit of plagiarizing parts of your speeches. And perhaps that is explained by the fact that you do not understand what plagiarism means. I mean, nobody's accusing you of pretending that you wrote Gattaca or that you wrote Stand and Deliver. That is not what this is about. This is not about you explaining a plot line. This is about you lifting other people's words verbatim and pretending that they are your own. This is about you lifting entire sections of a website, inserting them into your own speeches, and then passing them off as your own original thoughts. This is something that high school students know not to do. And you are presenting yourself as a potential candidate for president. This has nothing to do with me. You heard Senator Paul there say, quote, nothing I said was not given attribution to where it came from. That is absolutely and provably not true. Senator, somebody else's published words end up, ended up in your speech without attribution. How did that happen? Do you understand that that is a problem? I'm grateful to Jorge Ramos at Diffusion that Senator Rand Paul has finally been forced to respond to this plagiarism problem tonight given his absolute incoherence in his explanation, I have a feeling this might not be the end of it, though.